Hello everybody. Welcome to WKRH 12 Productions. Law Enforcement Builds of 2021. My name is Keith and I'm going to be showing you uh, all the makes and models of all the vehicles that we've done in 2021. We've done a lot. I'm record breaking approximately 250 builds approximately. Hmm. Give or take about 10 builds. And we don't even count the new ones that we, you know, that we purchased uh, and and did any type of little intricacies in that and in, in uh, here and there before we displayed them. When we bought them, we bought them, and uh, we we were collectors first, and then something piqued our interest into building them because we had a hard time finding them, and then uh, paying the arm and the leg and all that stuff. So instead of that, we use our arms and legs for something else and just use the build these vehicles and <laughs> put it all together and come up with uh, law enforcement agencies of our own with help from with help from vendors with uh, accessories decals and other stuff like that so let's get right to it because we are doing the Dodge Charger law enforcement builds of 2021 next and there's quite a few Dodge Chargers are my favorite vehicle I'm not gonna lie to you there you know that my favorite vehicles and they're my favorite vehicles to do and the law enforcement agencies agree. They usually do. They usually have Dodge Chargers in their arsenal if they don't have anything else. But Dodge Chargers are pretty flexible, mobile, muscular, and can get it and can and can put a good and can chase down pretty much any vehicle in the United States so far at this point. So unless they soup it up and put nitro in it, but who knows? <laughs> we have it. But we have s several law enforcement agencies that uh, to, that we've done in 2021, and I figure we, you know, we we're going by makes and models. That was the best way to sort this out and try to uh, see if we can cover everything in in at one time. If we did it by list or something like that, we would miss it. We we miss it because we did some commission work as well. So let's go with the. Monroe County vehicles, shall we? Yeah. And uh, the ones we did for Monroe County. Fictional Monroe County for our diorama uh, county series. And we did the drift car. This is one of them. Uh, we did this in 20, you know, in the, uh, this year in 2021. I believe it was. Mm, I, I, we're going to guess some of these because we did several variations of Monroe County vehicles. But we did do this in 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 this year in 2021. I assure you, this was was probably uh, most likely done in October of 2021. Yeah, and this is the Dodge Char Charger drift car, and Hot Wheels variation. It has different types of um, accessory decals. We uh, stri stripped it, painted it, and put accessory decals. Kind of touched it up with a little bit of, um, you know, with the lights on the spoiler. We didn't want to lose the spoiler effect, but it did that. We used our decals, made it with our decals on this one. And we used the inkjet printer, but we're using the backdrop in the, in, you know, but we're using the backdrop behind the image. And that's why we're getting, that's why you're seeing the effect that you're seeing here. Yeah, um, it looks very good. It looks very good blended in with the vehicle that we're doing kind of left the white walls as it is light bar in the process and accessory decals uh, like police unit number 911 all behind it in the front looks pretty good got the lights on the push bar on the front and this is kind of like a 2006 or 2005 2006 uh, model vehicle uh, Dodge Charger. This is a very early uh, rendition of it. They made it into a Hot Wheels when they made it. Made that uh, made the body to a spoiler. Uh, you know, with a vehicle of that type, Dodge Charger, earlier edition Dodge Charger with a spoiler on it, and light bar built into the window, and carved in here. We just made it. We just refurbished it. Made it a decorative. A much more decorative uh, police car. I don't know what this used to be prior to, but <laughs> I think you're going to find out that that's that's going to be yeah that's going to be the furthest thing from our mind. This is another Dodge Charger 
2006 model that we made into a stealth, a semi-stealth type vehicle from the Monroe County Police. And this is a slick top version with the lights on the visor. Did the Monroe County Police up on that one. Nice. I'm going to be zooming in. I hope the light's good. I tried to adjust the lights. We have LED lighting on this in the studio. So we're trying to adjust accordingly. We use different colors. We use red and blue and I think <laughs> to, and I think this is good. I think this is good right now. It, it shows you some of the vehicle and uh, gives you a good description of the vehicle without any um, shadowing interruptions I hope that's what we were going for the lights we do a better job with the cars than we do the lights as you can tell and we did the front up here slick top put accessory decals on the on the top and on the sides as well uh, we tried to make this we use we try to use as few decals as possible other than what we had because this was an unmarked vehicle previously and we just decided to put a semi stealth graphics on it and just uh but uh, but uh few few decals as possible to make it a low profile vehicle <laughs> to display on the uh to display what else we have i'm looking for another monroe county vehicle if we have any yeah i don't see any more there's more and more i think we have uh here we did this and this is the uh, Dodge Charger scat, you know, uh, demon scat back wide body package. <laughs> you can put it all together here. <laughs> you can put it all together here. But this is one of those Hot Wheels premiums that we did, and we just we just colored in, and we just repainted it uh, black to take away from the stripe. I love. I actually don't like stripes that came all the way that came all the way from one end of the vehicle to the other straight up the middle and the stuff I didn't like that too much we don't usually like stripes like that but we actually like the stripe on here yet we still yet we still painted it in we still painted it <laughs> and we still did the and still refurbished it to make it to a police car but we had to make this into a police car this is coming off the one of the it's the premium Hot Wheels vehicle that came off the F9 uh fast nine fast and furious nine series and and we usually don't buy a whole set pack to buy this usually try to buy it separately if we can but there were other vehicles like the mustang like the uh jeep gladiator that you'll see later on that we made into police that we we're going to make into police cars now we hadn't made anything into a police car from the mustang but we did for this one and we did for the jeep gladiator so stay tuned. The Jeep Gladiators are coming up in the future videos, but this is one of them here that we've done, and then we just put, you know, just display. We had to make it to a police car. We made it to a Monroe County police car, and just did it up, <laughs> did it up. Now we have several other versions of Dodge Chargers from different agencies that we want to show you, and try to go through it with you as fast as we possibly can, just because we have. Just because we have a lot of vehicles to cover. A lot of vehicles to cover. One of the vehicles to cover that we did was the Oklahoma State Police. Uh, we did one We did one in a matchbox. There used to be a matchbox, Texas State Police. We kind of refurbished it and made it into, a, uh, made it into the uh, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma Highway Patrol or State Police looks good at this point we did the lights up on the push bar and we kind of shaped it this is a 2012 version so we but we did the headlights this way to give it a more muscular look and we're bad aimers and trying to and trying to make a <laughs> paint the paint the actual lights properly <laughs> so we did it this way to give it a much much more much more uh smooth muscular a new effect to it so to speak and it did it did a great job with that the flag looks a little cartoonish 
bear with us we're still gonna we're gonna modify the flag but man it still looks good and you can tell it's the Oklahoma State Police you know because of it it's still iconic and it's still an iconic a police vehicle law enforcement agency vehicle in every way all these are Dodge Chargers and this is another one we did we did we kind of did this off another refurbish uh, 2012 uh, 2012 Dodge Charger um, series and that's what we did here that's another one that we did kind of made the kind of made the license plate iconic there so you can see it I don't know if you can see it with the blur vision but we're going to try to get you to zoom in on that looks good at this point made the push bar this is the one we did with uh, balsa wood and they came from bird cage bird cage design and a small bird cage design balsa wood and we kind of re we kind of cut it slice and diced it and put it together to make it to a push bar we didn't make too many of these but we did make enough uh, to do this and then we painted it and then we put it on the front looks like a looks a real looks real good we try to paint it and I don't think we painted that one as much as we wanted to got the light bar on the top that's made of balsa wood as well and it did a great job with that uh, with that model it's a little bit different from the other one but not too different because uh, we try to make the state we try to make the state the decal and I think that was a little bit a little bit thinner but you know still effective in every way shape form possible there's some vehicles like this one <clears throat> we call it the University of Phoenix Police Department it's a yeah, 2015 Dodge Charger SRT mm -hmm. and we made this into a University of Phoenix Police Department now I don't think they have their own law enforcement agency we just made one because we we went to school and we went to school and got a degree there for the University of Phoenix eh, business management not too bad not, not too popular but and we kept the tampos and we worked around the you we um, installed the decals around the tampos that was already in place here and then you know that's the tampo and that's the decal tampo and all that stuff and tampo on the top of the hood everything else and then we detailed it detailed the heck out of it <laughs> so you can see we when when we got this off the pegs none of this was you know the the the, the grill the none of this was the lights none of this all this was undetailed and we just kind of souped it up made it into a police car he said why not <laughs> why not it was either and and we kind of made it into a first responder vehicle when we did when we uh, first did this so it was first or it was the first responder vehicle but then we turned around and made it a University of Phoenix police vehicle and it's been that way ever since we added the accessory decals around it it's been great Added a light bar and we have three of these that we uh, that we have done and three of these that we have done we've done this and uh, we made it to a police car when we just before we got our degree in uh, business management in 2017 and then we refurbished it to add the accessory decals and and up uh, and redetailed the front and the back of the vehicles as you can tell and we did that this year so it was a refurbished it was a refurbished refurbished model <laughs> And we kind of 2.0 some of these vehicles from time to time. To let you know that yeah, what we did was you know what we did was the de was detailed enough to the point where we had to where we had to consider that as a build. We did that in July 2021 of this year. Uh, all the other vehicles that we did that's Monroe County you know, was done in 2021. The Oklahoma State Police uh, Highway Patrol was done in March 2021. This is the Arkansas uh, State Police, and this was done in July 2021. It's a little cartoonish, 
but this is our first time really trying to attempt the attempt the design sometimes you can't tell if we can uh, if this will actually fit is it going to be funny looking when you install it we don't know how it's actually going to look until we install it for the first time we kind of kit bash we kind of kit bash the, uh, the 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 ribbon stripe from uh, from another from another project just to make you know so it could fit properly to see if it could fit properly so this was pretty much a test piece so to speak it's and uh, we're satisfied with the stripe actually and I actually didn't think we was going to be satisfied with the stripe but we're satisfied with the stripe then we are with the uh, crest we're going to read we're going to redo the crest going into the new year uh, once we get into the new year sometime in the new year and then but we'll leave this we'll leave the stripe yeah it looks pretty darn good because we usually don't get that too well and you know that's why that's why i believe that's why i don't have too many arkansas state police because you got to deal with that you got to deal with the stripe on the side and try to bring it up to the hood and yeah it's unique unique i'll show you the idaho idaho state police and i'll show you how we did that and how we installed it and how we installed it in in a few moments but the arkansas state police we kind of did it one way we did it one way and we did the idaho state police in another way but this is the arkansas state police it looks good it's in a 2006 type dodge charger with the spoiler and we put the lights in the back on the spoiler and to add you know to, as well as the lights and detail the back add it pop both ways looks good here on the front too we kind of just just sit up there yeah just try to get there just try to give you an idea what we <clears throat> of the details that we've done now we've done the simpsonville south carolina police department now these decals was by 10a collectibles uh, was made by 10a collectibles thank you very much for the decals and when we did when we first installed it on here we didn't want to put this part on here that yeah that didn't look it it, it looks off yeah and still kind of looks off from time to time but when we posted it everybody liked it it was pretty good and i said okay we'll leave it like it is <laughs> and we installed it like that we was think really thinking about taking that off but it has a good graphics feature to it and you know you couldn't deny that we did this on a 2012 Dodge Charger here, Hot Wheels version. Uh, Dodge Charger did that. Did this up uh, good, and did the back as well. Did the light bar on the top, and it looks good. Just, just great pop to it. Uh, better than what I thought it was going to be. It, you know, it came out better than what I thought it was going to be uh, using somebody else's decals other than <laughs> other than the ones that we've been using uh, for most of the year we're going to be we're going to be venturing around using decals from other vendors as well as well as use ours as well as well as use ours trust us we we want to well, you know we want to get to know everybody in the business that's building cars as well okay this is another build the hawaii uh state sheriff this is one of the this is when we didn't start when we started off with we didn't even have a single Hawaii uh, state sheriff unit we did have Hawaii units like Maui uh, you know Maui Hawaii we had Honolulu police we had those but we didn't have the Hawaii state sheriff uh, representing the state of Hawaii what we do now and we not only have that we have that as a fleet and you know, we did the tremendous job with with the with the features on it and we have you know we've we've refurbished it off of our previous DK uh, off of off this vehicle which was used by a previous unit which was the Monroe County Police Department anyway but we we did that let's see if we can find the Hawaii County Sheriff was made on DC we made it in there was one made in August I think this was the first one that was made in August and then we made another one and then we made more to add to the fleet in December of uh, in this month of 2021 so this is one of the good builds here we kind of did the sheriff up we did the accessory decals in the process it looks real good real detailed 
uh, and boy, that just and we got the decals from the Bill Bowles of decals there, and it worked out tremendously, tremendously well. I'm trying to put these to the place where we can um, do this. All right. Also, we did the Dallas County Sheriff. Dallas County Sheriff. We did. We did on this. Uh, we did this month actually on December of this year, but we did one earlier earlier as well and I think we did both I think we did one in August uh, we did one in August and we did the one in December this is the one we did in December right here this is on the green light series the Hawaii State Sheriff was also a green light uh, version of the, the you know, 2012 version of the Dodge Charger and this one we put a we put a push bar on it as well as paint the hood and it looks good with that put with that push bar we refurbish it off of another of off another unit as well and when you use the Dallas County Sheriff looks good has that clean look has a aged look about it too and we you know these this this type of design has been around for a while for the Dallas County Sheriff so keep that in mind <laughs> Bill Bozo, Bill Bozo decals here and this is the Hot Wheels version of the Dallas County Sheriff as well made this one in, Jul in July or August but has a good design to it did the backup uh, pretty well got the light bar on it and kept the decals on it Bill, yeah, these are Bill, yeah both of them were by Bill Bozo decals did a great job thank you sir for those decals it just worked out well and just has a good look to it very very good look to it and loved loved everything about it Buford County Sheriff is the next one from South Carolina yeah our home state and we use the Buford County Sheriff for this one in and uh, nice detailed, nice detail work. Not too many decals to to deal with in the design. Coming off of a 2015 Dodge Ch Dodge Charger SRT. All these are Dodge Chargers that we're looking at here, and just try to put you know a lot of detail to it. Did the details on the front and in uh, the back. Got some good details there. The Beaufort County Sheriff was done in March of this year. Of 2021. Nice. We did the paint job. The paint probably, you can probably see some, you know, there was some dirt on the paint. We we, sand, we wet sanded it and tried to repaint it again. So it might not be perfect, but it got the details in there that we were, that we're looking for. And... And everything else and then we got the back pretty done pretty well uh, as well but we made the decals on that one that was pretty that was a pretty fun project I tell you a very very fun project that we've done also another fun project uh, let me see another fun project that we've done was the Louisiana State Police now we did the Louisiana <coughs> State Police here we did this um, we had vehicles before, but not a Dodge Charger of the Louisiana State Police. We have one in a pickup truck, you'll see in later videos. And we have one in a, oh, in a Ford Crown Victoria. Yeah, so you'll see that in a future video as well. But this is one of the, so we did one in the Dodge Charger. We did the first one in a... Uh, on on this type of design, uh, Dodge Charger designed in 2006, uh, designed with the spoiler, and we put the older decals on it because it goes well with the older model. You know, it it kind of fits well. That's usually what they had, but it looked good here. Um, light bar on the on the, on the top. You know, even though we have the spoiler as well, we have the spoiler with the lights on in the on the back. We put the lights on the spoiler as well. You know, we don't. It's not lit up. But we just designed it that way, with the sharpie to give it a lot of pop, and then we put the de decals on that, and then we put the decals on that. Also, 
We made one for the we made a Dodge Charger for the Louisiana State Police in the newer in a newer version with the newer decals on it. Yeah, so this is the so one was the light the the older one was the light blue. This one's a darker blue on the state. Still has the same design on it on it of the Louisiana State Police. We did this on the 2015 SR Dodge Charger SRT. We did the uh, details on the front and back. Put a light bar on this baby. And after we paint it, and it looks real, real good. Yeah. We managed to get it sized up and actually get it uh, done <laughs> done correctly, so it doesn't have a cartoonish look to it. But uh, it was by Bill Bozo Designs on this one anyway. Uh, thank you, Bill. Thank you for the designs uh, for the decals on well, that one. That worked out well. Tremendously well. Somerville Police Department is the next one. We did uh, one in South Carolina. We was going to, you know, for those that live in South Carolina, have the Low Country. They live in a Low Country area. They know the low, uh, you know about the Low Country area of South Carolina. We was doing all the Midlands and the Central and the Greater Columbia and the Centralized area of South Carolina. And we said we was going to get to the low country areas. We actually started one of our earlier builds in the low country area with the Jasper County Police that we did a, uh, a few years back. <laughs> but we did the Jasper County Police. We did the Colton County Police. But the Buford Police and this, and uh, we know we did the Buford Police uh, earlier this year. And we did, now we're doing Somerville Police as well. Now... Let me go back and say that the Louisiana State Police, Louisiana State Police was done, uh, and both of them was done in July. The both both versions of the Dodge Chargers was done in July. The Somerville Police was done in August of 2021. And we made a fleet of these. We made uh, two of the, We made a pair of these uh Somerville Police Departments that we've done this year and we've done a Dodge Durango. You'll see the Dodge Durango on in future videos. But right now the Somerville Police Department that we've done in the Dodge Charger S uh 2015 Dodge Charger SRT and we uh, uh detailed it you know, front and back and repainted it, repainted it, detailed it and gave it a great presentation with these decals. Uh, great presentation. Uh, it's done well. We kind of left the wheels like it is. It looks darn gorgeous in this one. Light bar on the top with the balsa wood light bar that we did, and we chromed it. And the police on, and, and all the details and uh, accessory decals on the back. Detail the back of the uh, lights on the back as well. We, like I said, we did this. Uh, we did this in August of 2020 of uh, this year of 2021. So we did a great job with that. I love that type of vehicle. Uh, I, I I really have no favorites. You know they're all they're all good. And then I do the next one and I say, "But well, that's my favorite." And then I do the next one and then I say, "That's my favorite." The o ah, the Ohio State Highway Patrol. I got to say that right. We've had some people that's that's been giving us some critical uh, critical points on it. It's the Ohio State Highway Patrol, but it is that, <laughs> and we've done some designs with, uh, you know, we've done some uh, designs with this on the Dodge Charger. Now we've purchased the vehicles uh, years ago, and we managed to get, we managed to get a good, you know, one or two of them, and, and didn't know how valuable they was to the collection. Now they're so valuable, we can't get another, we can't purchase another one, so we build another one. This is off the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. The cows came from Rhonda Corelli from Police Decal Shop. Thank you, Rhonda. And we did a job of painting it. Uh, actually, we thought that the paint scheme might match the paint scheme that we had on the ones that we purchased. Not really, but <laughs> it'll work. It'll work as a police car anyway. And it's done, done a good job. Uh, this doesn't do the ju the lights don't do it justice to s let you know that those decals are on there. But we did that. This is, took the longest build as far as installing the decals is concerned, because we really had to piece it together around the different size Dodge Chargers. The green lights are slightly bigger or slightly larger. Um, 
or slightly larger than the Hot Wheels versions like this one that's the Hot Wheels version and you'll see it here but you know so we had to we had to cut trim work around the wheel wells and stuff in the back make sure they were kind of close to even around all the way around did a fantastic job with that uh, but you know we did that and we kind of it's good it was a good challenging design it was a good challenging install that we did in, in a project that we did I liked it worked out pretty pretty well yeah pretty pretty well so it worked out probably better than I ever thought this is the Michigan State Police and we did this on a you know the earlier version model of a Dodge Charger 2006 uh, Dodge Charger drift car we for its uh, you know we don't we didn't use the dome lights on on this thing like they usually have it but we kept the v we but this was a this police car was another design with the red with the red tinted windows and the and the light bar on the top attached to that window and molded into the and molded into the molded into the body and we just used that and just said yes we found ourselves a Michigan State Police vehicle not fans of the dome but we we're planning on making one eventually off our 3D printer and kind of making it and modifying it as best as we can and then put one and then put one and then we're going to build another one and put it on there now we had the hardest time with this with the color scheme um, the light will probably disguise the color scheme the shade of color that we had and this is a darker blue than what we intended to have and that's why it's a shade it's a shade darker <laughs> a shade darker but we we're, we're still gonna we still used it still made it into a police vehicle and didn't strip it or anything and it worked out tremendously well and we put you know we made the decals ourselves so it worked out tremendously well on this one I don't think we put the light bar, you know, the lights across the uh, spoiler like we did the other ones. And, you know, we I don't think we did. Nope. Nope. But this one was done in July and we made a fleet of four of these vehicles here. And that's what, and that, you know, when we did two, when we say we did two, approximately 250 vehicles, most of the reason why was we did a fleet of vehicles we did a lot of fleet vehicles we did a lot of fleet v uh, a lot of fleet vehicles with monroe county and several other departments and we focused this year on fleets yeah and building a fleet at least a pair of vehicles but you're gonna but we well you know well, i'll try to tell you that we've made more you'll see these fleets as we go along in uh, future videos hopefully we'll do more and more filming than we usually do <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. We need to we need to work on that. <laughs> the Oregon State Police, and this is the Dodge Charger 2015 Dodge Charger SRT, and you could tell there's some familiarity to it, even though the design is still there. We cleaned it up a little bit. It has it had a lot more tamples to it than than usual. We left the tamples on the top, and to blend in with what's already there to give it a little bit more of a uh detailed look so to speak we covered in the grill the front and detailed the front and the back of course it didn't have too many decals on here but you could tell you that that's you know but we have the decal the install on the back to let you know it's the Oregon State Police uh, on the side and then the stripe on the side when we made it, it was real thin and it, we had a hard time keeping it on there, but we, but here, not too bad. Now I don't know we can get zoom in enough. You got to focus on it, but it show you the decal that's on the door, the passenger and the driver's side door of the of the vehicle, and it looks real good. And detailed it just detailed as best as we you know best as we possibly could blending in with the tampons that's already there but you won't see the tampons unless I tell you they're on the top we did we took everything off on the side and made it uh made it a very very good vehicle to, to you know that people can people can see and represent that law enforcement agency Dodge Charger uh, 20 
12, uh, 2012 Dodge Charger. We did that, installed the Vermont State Police ourselves. This is one of our better builds. We painted it green. Uh, we will love the color green that we have off our rattle can. Works out well. Yeah, we use rattle cans. We don't use spray, spray paint too much because we change colors a lot. <laughs> and I hate to wash, I hate to clean the darn airbrush time after time after time again. Now, I might put, I might use the airbrush. If I use the airbrush, I, if I ever use the airbrush, and I don't have a legitimate one, but if I use the airbrush, I'll probably will spray clear coat on it. Yeah. Spray a clear coat on it and use it for clear coat clear coat spray painting might do more than that but we got the details of the got the decals installed we made the decals ourselves got the decals installed on the um and details done on the front and back got to put a light bar on it and and that's after we paint it and a little bit of a clear yeah we did clear coat on most of these vehicles not all of them because you know, like I say, the only time we put clear coat on is if we're, is if we're selling the vehicles. If we're selling the vehicles, because we might change our mind and refurbish it in a, a different way, either by using the same unit or a different unit altogether. Hadn't got to that point because we have so many cars that we have to, you know, we have so many cars. And as we was getting this Dodge Charger lineup for you for our custom builds of 2021, we whew, we found out we had a lot of them. This is the Charlotte Mecklenburg, North Carolina Police. And we did the uh, de de uh, decals on that. So it was a little wide. And it was a little wide. Almost didn't make it to the wheel well. And still touching the wheel well. A little further than I want. You know, a little bit more into the wheel. It's more into the, you know, that ends a little bit more into the wheel well than I would like it to be. Which I'm trying to say. But it looks good all the way. We're we're adjusting that as we go along, but it but it was a good enough and satisfying enough to make it a to, to you know to make the design you know to give okay approval for the design and just leave it like it is, and then we'll make it. But but it goes to show you we're going to you know not all of our builds are going to be perfect, but it really you know but. You know, we give it this best, the best presentation possible, and I think we we're still able to do that without, you know, destroying any aspect of the profession, you know, any aspect of the of the graphics and the decals. You know, this is a 20, 2012 model Dodge Charger, and we got the, you know, we're able to add the accessory decals on the back and really detail the back. We started to frame a little bit. We started to frame the lights a little bit, especially in the back with uh, a black Sharpie and just trim around that and did a trim around it and then filled in with a lot of the lights, uh, fill in the, the lights on it in between that trim. So we did a great job with that. The New Mexico State, uh, when we did with the Vermont, the Vermont, we did the Vermont earlier this year, which was, oh, <laughs> yeah, we did the Vermont earlier this year, and we did the Vermont in March of 2021, we did the Charlotte Mecklenburg one in August of 2021, this one we did real recently, December of this year, uh, uh, this is the New Mexico State Police, and we love everything about it. Look at this thing. We made the, we painted the vehicle intentionally black metallic because the New Mexico State Police, it really, it really gives it a pop. Plus, we're going to be doing other builds. We have a special build that we're going to, that we're planning on doing in 2022 for the New Mexico State Police, and we're going to kind of give it a metallic build as well the paint scheme was great we love the paint scheme we love the designs this is the uh this this the decals was done by Rhonda Curley with the police decal shop thank you Rhonda with the outstanding decals the paint scheme and the details blended with the outstanding decals perfectly we're using the label tape actually to do the numbering 
for as a temporary as a temporary measure until we get decals until we get decals permanent decals on it to make it permanent and to install it and make it permanent so and then the details on the back sweet sweet right now this is my best design because <laughs> I say it's the best design because it was done last <laughs> And it was the last one. It's, I think it's the last build we were going to do at the new in, in the new year. So I'll keep that in mind. The Pennsylvania State Police. Now, this is a Dodge Charger actually, and one of the, in the green light versions. I don't know exactly when, what year, but it's a green light version. Probably about a 2018 model. Uh, green light. It's. It's tough to decide which one, you know, it's tough to really tell you which one it is, what year it is on this one. It was tough to read out. So I apologize if I don't get the year, exact year right of the make and model of the Dodge Charger, but it is a newer version Dodge Charger. So I'm guessing it's 2018. It is, uh, this was done in July 2021. Yeah, it's one of our new, one of our newer vehicles and stuff and man did it up i loved everything about this design of the pennsylvania state police we actually got this design off of a video game great gta grand theft auto 5 and they made uh they modified a police car in that regard i tell you they did a fantastic job with this fantastic job with this i like everything about it and we made a we made quite a, we made a, we made two of them made a fleet of two but it's going in with the fleet of many vehicles that the Pennsylvania State Police already has and older model newer model vehicles we just we just doing it up <laughs> just doing it up and then we put a light bar on the process we kept the color cuz we like the color scheme and we think it comes close to the color scheme that's already that the police that the Pennsylvania State Police currently have the color scheme anyway and we figured that would that would actually get the job done in that in that regard now we had some designs uh, with the decals by Rhonda Corelli from the police decal shop this is the Nevada uh, State Police or the Highway Patrol if I'm saying state police when it's supposed to say highway patrol or highway patrol when it's supposed to say state police, please bear with me. We're getting there. Nevada Highway Patrol is the Dodge Charger 2012 Dodge Charger. And one of the uh, it's we did the design of one of these builds and did a great job with it. And then we added the decals to it. Uh, Rhonda did a great job with these decals. Uh, we keep coming back to her because she prints white and these things come in uh, sit well on these vehicles <laughs> uh, sit well on these vehicles and, pr and does the does great presentation work on it there's also an honorable um, uh, crest on the hood don't know if I can get there and uh, without blending in yeah. there we go yeah there you go battle Battle something, I believe, <laughs> but it's a uh, yeah, it's good good design. And we put the decals and detailed it as best as we possibly could. It had a light bar on the top with the balsa wood light bar with the chrome, with the liquor chrome design to it. We we designed the number to add to the um, to add to the vehicle for accountability accountability purposes this was done in august of 2021 and did a fantastic job with this we did a fleet of two to go along with uh, a fleet of several vehicles now we had some vehicles nevada state police vehicles that we purchased earlier but they're jada brands you know they called jada toys and we purchased those type of vehicles but that was years ago when there was when jada was making police cars for some departments in this point but we wanted to, they were aging, and we wanted to add more. Boy, did we add more. So you're going to see decals from Bill Bozo. You're going to see decals from Ronda Corelli. 
um, involving the Nevada State Police because they have newer, they have new, detailed, and newer vehicles than that right now, and they they're going we're going to show you that in future videos. We did not make a new one off the Dodge, Dodge Charger, but we did make a new one to install on other vehicles. This is another one by Ronda uh, with the, the decals by Ronda Crelly. It is the Idaho State Police. I tell you, and we did this on a matchbox matchbox car. Fan and what we did, you know, doesn't look like a lot of work, but it's a lot of work, especially when you're doing and when you're installing the decals of the Idaho State Police for the first time. And if you're doing that, let me assure you. It looks all this looks neat. It did a fantastic job with the detailing um, in the front and the back. Fantastic job. But let me show you how they did the decals. I know we probably showed you that in the earlier video, but just in case. You know, when you install these decals, and we painted the hood, but when you start with the decals, you start with the top, and you center it as best as you can. But start from the top. You'll have two pieces, you'll have three pieces, and then, you, and then when you get the hood piece, start from the hood first. Start on the hood first, and then and then once you get the hood set in then you bring the ends and then you just drape it to the side and then when you get the side decals you install it right over the you know you overlap it over the ends of the of the and that was attached to the hood and that's it and then you cut the ends off the wheel well if you have too much if you do if you do any cutting at all you do too much cutting you cut the ends off the uh, wheel well in the back we will tour the back and then you put state police on the on the on, on both sides i think you also have state police on the other side as well this is very small you can't tell also the license plate for the state police license plate but if you do anything on this vehicle you start from the top with the idaho state police if you're installing idaho state police um, decals and if you're doing it for the first time and it's challenging at first and you're gonna be you're gonna want to cut it but don't cut it don't cut it until you get everything installed I mean you do any cutting do the just do the cutting from the uh, from uh, all the way that's that's at the back of the wheel well yeah, I know you're gonna have some overlap there because it was accounting for size for 164 scale size this is a matchbox 187 scale size keep that in mind man that is a you know it was challenging but it was rewarding once we figure it out, oh, okay, we messed up on one car, which was a Hot Wheels car, but we did a great job. Once we once we figured out the center, the hood, you know, start from the hood first, then work our way on the sides. Instead of the other way around, we found that we, you know, you'll find that the install will be a whole lot easier. The more you do, and the more you do those two, yeah, you find it challenging, but you'll find it rewarding enough to do another one. And we're planning on doing another set next, another set of vehicles, uh, for the Idaho State Police going into next year. <laughs> Looking forward to that. This is the Rhode Island State Police right here. We did the decals for this on this type of uh, Dodge Charger 2020, I think. Yeah. 2019, 2020 Dodge Charger. Uh, let me see. We can actually see this one, yeah, 2018. Excuse me, 2018 Dodge Charger. Uh, it's on, it, it's on the type of gray that we felt that was going to be very suited for several departments. This is one of them, and we we felt it was suitable for this department as well, the Rhode Island State Police. And boy, I loved everything about it. We did the decals ourselves on this on this build. But we didn't have to do too much. It was already detailed in the front and in the back. Uh, so all we had to do was just add the decals to it. And put a light bar and install a light bar on it. And it looks good. One of our better one of our better builds and stuff. Now we did get this one was uh you know the crest is a little clear, you know, it's a little a little bit too transparent, so to speak. But we did get a we did get a um, decal. We did make a decal and um, made the crest and, and put it on a white water slide decal. So when we install it, we're gonna layer over it, and then you'll see a you'll see a much better uh, 
you'll see a much better design with the crest with much more pop on the crest and that's what we're trying to say but right now it looks good it looks awesome on this and this is something we need to clear coat because we have to we've had to do maintenance on these decals <laughs> periodically but I like the way it was done here this just was a fantastic build to do from start to start to finish and everything else we had no favorites but you know <laughs> we had no favorites at all but we did do some all right this is another one of the Monroe County Police Department that we've done did a fantastic job with that Rhode Island State Police that we've done right away we did in March of 2021 the Idaho uh, State Police we've done in June of 2021 keep that in mind I'm trying to tell you you know give you an idea of when we did these builds because we did have it on our inventory this is uh, Monroe County um, Police Department that we did we did this in an earlier build uh, but we we refurbished it most of you probably have a general idea with which which this was a matchbox vehicle um, and which design it was before we um, before we refurbished it and made it to the Monroe County uh, State Police State Police vehicle now we did the refurbished job and completion of the refurbished of this refurbished vehicle in 2021 October 2021 we uh, redesigned it and just did a marvelous job but it took us a month to get into it and all that stuff because we because we uh, we was trying to figure out what unit we was going to use this for and we actually made it our unit the Monroe County Police Department we used our decals on it it's a little bit um, from an eyeball standpoint you can't tell what is uh, you can't tell from my eyeball standpoint it looks darker but this is um, through the camera it looks very light so it looks good you can see the de you can see the decals all over the place the accessory decals and the main decals on the side but you can see it all over the place you can see the work and the detail all over the place and and the details we made on the light bar and the and the front and the back of the uh, lights on the front and the back did a fantastic job that turned out to be a fun build once we figured out which direction we wanted to go with it also another Monroe County um, police vehicle we did this one we did a series of Monroe County police vehicles we kind of did this one in July of uh, you know in, uh, of, of 2021 and we did a fleet of these we did a fleet of eight of, the, of eight of these vehicles detailed it the light bar in front all the accessory decals to go along with that we had different variations of the Monroe County Police design uh, and we actually used this one for the black we actually had a uh, one for the black uh, with the black background on it and we blended it in with the rest of the stuff and it looks fantastic at least I think it looks fantastic <laughs> so fantastic I can't play favorites this is why I'm showing you so you can have a favorite if you have a favorite you can like comment <laughs> and uh, let me know about it subscribe too while you at it along the way <laughs> this is the North Carolina Highway Patrol the decals was by Bill Bozo in a uh, stealth in a stealth graphic type of way not not necessarily a ghost because you can still see it but in a stealth graphics type of way thank you bill for these decals they came out well in this type of color we did the north carolina state police in different variations of dodge chargers uh, beginning with this one which was the hot wheels dodge charger the 2012 version we did that and we did all we did we did two sets in July. This is the Hot Wheels version we did in July 2021. And the others you're going to see we did in August of 2021. But this one we did in July. And it looks good all the way around. A, you know, it has some details to it. The install was a little bit difficult. And we did it to the point where we lifted it up, lifted up the end, the rear part of the decal in order to give it a little bit more sporty look because if we if we went low or we kept it at the regular end you probably wouldn't see the you probably wouldn't see 
all that decal on the wheel well, which is probably what most of the most most of uh, North Carolina's designs was like anyway. This was a little bit, you know, this was a little bit larger than the 187 scale vehicle. We did we try to fit it into a 187 scale vehicle. We did lift up the lift up this end a little bit to accommodate it, so you're gonna see it look like it's yeah. It's not level. You can see the decal look like it's not level, but we did that intentionally. Uh, so you can see the whole design of the of the vehicle. If we lift it up a little bit, we didn't level it off. If we leveled it off, you wouldn't see the rest of this decal. And, you know, sometimes North Carolina did it that way too. It, they did it straight. They did it level. The decals was level on their vehicles. The, and, and everything else. So we tried to use that type of this type of design decal. We try to use this type of design decal on this type of on this vehicle. And I get mixed results, but it blends in. It's camouflaged almost. You can hardly tell it's there. I gotta have to zoom it in for you. This is also a Hot Wheels vehicle. <coughs> Hot Wheels vehicle 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. And this is done pretty well. Yeah. It looks standoffish at first, and then you got the decal on the top. Got the light bar on the top. Kind of looks standoffish a little bit because of how it blends in with the with the gray, and it doesn't seem like it, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's it, it blends in too well. But it you know it grows on you in time. So probably not one of our favorite builds, but an effective build to the point where we're leaving it like that because it looks good. It looks good in time. Yeah, yeah. We look at it. We keep looking at it. Say eh, it looks good. Not as good as the black ones, but looks good all the, all all in general. Now that vehicle we did a set of the we did a set of the the black ones in in July. And we did a set of these gray ones in August. So keep that in mind. We also, yeah, you know, yeah, we also did one on a green light version in August as well, and we didn't. We, I don't. Yeah, I think we do have it. Yeah, we did have it right here. This is the green light version that we did in August, and you can tell we lifted that up significantly. We lifted the end up significantly, but we wanted to make sure that you could still see the state troopers, see the state. Is separated between the two doors, and we wanted to make that. In that, it was so important for us to install it that way, to have a state on the uh, passenger door, and uh, passenger part of the door, and the trooper on the uh, front part of the door. Make sure they had the oval and the trooper on the front part of the door. And the best way to do that and keep that presentation was to lift up this end, so it can keep it. So, so you wouldn't see the crease. So you wouldn't see the words or the oval image hit the crease of these doors and it was so important for us to do it that way and that's why we lifted it up uh, lifted the decal up off of this one oh, no. and this was a 164 scale we still had to do it that way it was so important for us to do it that way and when we did the other side we did the same thing we made sure we got close to the crease of the door but we did not you know but it does not affect the crease of you know the you know, but it does is is not on the crease of the door and it does a f uh, much more and it gave us a much more effective presentation on it on how you see it on the real life version of the North Carolina State Trooper vehicles and that's why we that's why we lifted it up and there was a reason why we lifted that decal that end of the decal up and it was basically so these images so the state trooper and the crest won't hit the crease of the doors and it was very important for us to do it that way and keep it and, and keep it just like a you know keep it presentable because their their image is designed you know their decal is designed that way in the real in the in the real cars that they have and it was the dodge chargers by the way that they did it in this is the New Hampshire State Police. This is a Hot Wheels. Oh, excuse me, not Hot Wheels. This is a Matchbox uh, uh, vehicle. 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 2018 Dodge Charger. 
Hot uh, Matchbox vehicle. I'm going to keep saying Hot Wheels. We have several variations of both Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. And But this is the New Hampshire State Police. When we first started the year, we did not have a single, single, uh, you know, we did not have a single New Hampshire State Police police vehicle here. But we did, but we did at the start of the year. Seemed like we made a New Year's resolution, but at the start of the year, it made 2021. January 2021, we started the new year. We deal with uh, New Hampshire State Police. And then, around about the same time, we bought a few New Hampshire State Police. Now, this one's in the silver version. We painted this silver. No, we painted this silver, and then we found out that there's a tan, you know, the, the, the ones that we purchased have the tan hoods on it have the tan hood and the top on it and you know we decided not to change it because we'll let you that way you could tell this is the design we did and this is the build that we done and we did our decal we did the decals on our own did a fantastic job with that and blended in with uh, what was already what was already there so we didn't have to do too much work yet if any at all on the front or the back but we had to and install the decals, install the light bar, and it looks real, real good. I'm gonna have to step away for a second. Hold on a second. Let me show you something else. I wanted to show you that before was well, a Dodge Charger. We'll show you that as much as possible. Hold on a second. I wanted to show you a different vehicle that we've done as well this year that's been critically acclaimed <laughs> and that's the Orange County North Carolina Sheriff uh, Super B design for the Dodge Charger now we did the Dodge Charger you know we did it on this type of Dodge Charger the green light Dodge Charger and I'm not sure if we did that this year but it was something that I had to show you to let you know that we did that that we did that type of design and we did the type of design on a yellow Dodge Charger now yes we did this last we did this in 2020 but I wanted to show you the design because this was the most critically acclaimed Dodge Charger that we've ever done and we we took the yellow Dodge day you know Dodge Charger Daytona it was a Daytona version vehicle it was yellow and we said this is perfect for the design that we had in mind of putting these decals by Bill Bozo these are Bill Bozo decals thank you Bill and we put these decals on there and when we put these decals on there we put it on a yellow vehicle and we have a hey, Super B and B's are yellow and black and this was a perfect, perfect, I felt was a perfect design. It was critically acclaimed. <laughs> they wanted it in white. <laughs> People was just saying, well, you put it in a white Dodge Charger. I said, well, this looked better. This looks better. Okay, we'll put it in a white. We'll put it on a white vehicle. We did it on a Dodge Durango. So, <laughs> we did the, so we did a design on the Dodge Durango. At some point, we might put one, install a decal on a white Dodge Charger just to satisfy the masses. Because that was the most critically acclaimed we, we've had. But the good thing about it is when you, when you, get, when you get the type of feedback we get, that's good. It's feedback. I love it. And it tells you somebody's paying attention to these things that you're doing so that's why we that's what always you know that's what pumps us up to try to do more of these videos now the last one is we do in the south carolina state trooper now this one's done in a 20 uh you know 2012 matchbox you know matchbox version of the dodge charger and it's done a fantastic job with that now we had to redo the decals on this to make it wider to make it wider because we made it too thin and it wouldn't stay on the vehicle without crinkling up every once in a while on some of these vehicles so we made it wider and it gave us a much more 
it gave us a much more better uh, it gave it a much more better stance when we installed it on there and also make it easy to drape over the door handles if we needed to drape over the door handles now we did get some from some designs from uh from both bill bozo and Rhonda Crowley from the PDS shop. Thank you both. But we haven't used those yet for this vehicle. We haven't used those for the Dodge Chargers. We've had made one of our own prior to purchasing those. And no particular reason. <laughs> but we did these these uh, but we did the redesigns on and we did the redesigns on the whole fleet of Dodge Chargers that that we made for the South Carolina uh Highway Patrol and we add and we add to our fleet. Now, like I said, this has always been a Dodge Charger. Um, excuse me, a South Carolina Highway Patrol. But we, like I said, we just refurbished the decals, and we did the refurbishing in various stages, in various stages of the months of September and from June to September and November of, of 2021. But we did those in September. From so from June to September, we did various. We did uh, replace the whole fleet with a new decal took the old one off put the new one on that's why we don't really put a clear coat on it because if we wanted to refurbish it or redo it again yeah we'll get it done and then we have the South Carolina on there yeah great job on this great job on this and then much it's much better it hugs it hugs the vehicle a little much much better than it was if it was thin and then we redid the lights uh, the way we did it looks good here man fantastic job and then the last one <laughs> yeah there is the last one we did so many dodge chargers this i can't say if this is the largest fleet that we've that we've had to show you that we've done the most customs on um we'll know as we go into future videos but we'll show you that and this is the 2018 dodge charger uh this is also a matchbox as well and we actually did the I mean, we did the light bar and we just put the decal on it and it looks fantastic fantastic we kept the kept the details on the front and back kept the color and just put the and just put the decals on it we got it detailed in there put the light bar on it we are we're going to have accessory decals um for his unit identification and stuff but we it, but it looks good because you can't read it on it has on the license plate but you can't read it too well and everything else also what we're doing too is adding the you know we added the push bar and this is the 3d printed push bar and we did it ourselves it's still a work in progress but man it looks fantastic we did the first one with uh the first one we did of this design was a commission job and i said man no way we we usually don't do commission jobs and so what we do when we do every commission job when we do a commission job we do two of them we do we try to do two vehicles because if we can do two vehicles we'll pick the best one so one gets shipped out so the best one gets shipped out and the uh, and the second best one we won't say the worst one but the second best one we keep and we actually use that as a model to make other fleets if so necessary but this was a this was a model done in november of 2021 and definitely a fun feature at that it was just it was just fantastic to make we've had some oohs and ahs of this of this one and a lot of dodge chargers now we wasted a lot of time i think we've been an hour here Ugh, didn't mean to be that long on something that good but we had to be elaborate in some of the it had to be elaborate in some of the details that we did on the dodge chargers fantastic designs that we made for 2021 focusing on our favorite vehicles out of the whole entire fleet of what we've done in 2021 the dodge chargers and in our in our career is the dodge chargers so we just grew fond of these things and it just looks good and plus the police drive so when the police when law enforcement drives it we we take part in it now they're starting to drive bigger vehicles but we have that too and we're going to be showing you that in later videos don't forget to like share describe subscribe and uh be able to you know let me know what you think about these vehicles now uh, it was fun for me to do it was fun for me to you know, i'm starting to get and to enjoy doing these videos let's see if we can do more we got more coming up anyway because i'm trying to get all this done before the end of the year thank you for watching don't forget 
don't forget, you need to comment, like, subscribe, share, do everything you need to do to get more involved in these videos that I'm showing you. Thank you for watching WKRH 12 Productions. I'm Keith. Take care.